Hey everybody, I'm Captain Zap. Welcome to the video. Today is going to be my first time logging on to Bedrock or Bust SMP Season 3. <laughs> I missed the uh, I missed the initial uh, intro for the server, but uh, I'm here none to say. Look at these puppies. Oh man, uh, it, it kind of feels nice to uh, start something fresh. So I'm excited for this. It's kind of late at night, so uh, nobody's online, and uh, that's all right with me. Because you know what? I think what I want to do with uh, with the series here is do a number of just, you know, strictly playthroughs. As little editing as possible. Show you how you guys how I start a world. Um, the first farms I get. The first gear I get. And, you know, how difficult it is for me to survive all of that. I know that it's not going to be um, high viewership, I'm assuming, um, but you know what? This is kind of more something that I'd like to do for me. Um, I enjoy, I deeply enjoy the uh, slow, sentimental process of the beginning stages of this game, and I plan on transferring that into my episodes for Better or Bust. So, you know what, I, I'll probably, you know what, sometimes just kick back and watch. Um, and if you have uh, just feel like watching some good old classic Minecraft, then uh, these episodes might be good for you. And, you know, there might be clips here and there that are handy, but for the most part, I think I'm just going to do very unedited videos. I'm even just going to leave the Minecraft music in that comes with the game, and that's going to be the music that I use. And it's just going to be essentially a, a clean playthrough. Anyway, so here we are uh, on the server. I think I think it's set to hard. Yep. So I got to watch out for creepers. I don't blow up anybody's stuff here. Um, I don't know. I really don't know much going on. Uh, I know that it just started a couple days ago. <laughs> Please don't touch it. There's something underneath there. What is that? Is it another chest? Is that an auto crafter down there? Anyway, oh, oh, I didn't even, I didn't even notice this. Jobs. Okay, uh, I don't want to work. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out and just survive. I'm gonna sleep through this night though. Just another bed. Look at what? What is starter base? <laughs> it's, it's, this is so funny. It's like he's a bum in the street. <laughs> That's his starter base. Oh, I, I'm not dying here. I'm not dying my first eight minutes in the game. Oh. Uh, jerks. Okay, well, let's let me sleep. Nice. All right. We'll sleep this through, and then maybe we'll go through this forest and get some of our first stage things that we need. Come on. Oh, oopsie. I'm already vandalizing. There we go. All right. Oh, look at people are Oh, it's a path. Nice. It's kind of nice not being the first one on because people have all this stuff going on. Okay, I'm kind of seeing this um Arrangement where people are kind of really close by. Really basic starter bases. Uh, so maybe I should follow suit. I love these forests. <gasps> A tree house. Let's go look up it. The Megataiga biome is my favorite biome in this entire game. Alright, let's see. I like it. I like it interesting the tree is the the all of the things you got to do all right whoa i don't i really don't want to die i was going to jump off there but i don't i don't want to die I'm, i've already lost some hunger bars i'm going to try keep an eye on that and and do a a solid playthrough okay i'm going to go out and get some gear i'm going to come back once I have some gear and, and build a little, maybe I think I'll just build a little 
bed on a bench beside Sask. <laughs> that was awesome. This is an awesome forest. All right. I'm not really looking for anything particular. Oh, is that a mountain? Some sheep would be nice. Oh, there's some berries. I know I had berries back at the uh, spawn, but I didn't want to take stuff that other people had going. All right. Let's let's start this. Oh, I see floating. I see some floating stuff in the back there. I'm definitely going to go check that out. Yeah, this is by far my my favorite biome. And the reason it's my favorite biome is it reminds me of camping as a kid. This looks like the the kind of forest we would go camp in. Uh, and and we even went once one time to uh, camp with these massive, massive redwood trees. It was really cool. Probably special memories like that. Uh, kind of adjust the way you live the rest of your life, because now I love these biomes. And I guess that's why we try and give our kids special memories too. All right, I see snow. I see a cute little fox. I think I'm going to get some stone tools here. Oh. Okay, we got some stone. I got to be careful, though. There's some dark areas here. Oh, th things have changed. I haven't really played this much since... I don't want to turn them all into... Since the new update, uh, I have not touched the autocrafter. Um, oh, look at that. This is quite interesting. I, I haven't, essentially, I haven't done anything 1.21. Oh, look at that. I am not wanting to deal with people right now. Yeah, I can't need this and this. That's essentially all you need. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to get out of here. Those noises are freaking me out. <laughs> uh, the only other thing I would need is a, f a, a furnace. But uh, it, it's okay for now. I've got lots of daylight. What I really want to do is find some sheepies. Cut down some more wood. Explore. Um, yeah. I know I'm not supposed to go past a thousand blocks. I believe that's what it is. Ooh, this is a good spot to build a house, actually. Right there. This is my favorite way to build houses. Is to find a kind of a crevice in the side of a mountain and just build a little doorway and then carve out my whole little base inside here. I know I don't have much yet, but that's okay. And this is how every single one of my starter bases. <laughs> I'm, I like I have this memory, muscle memory thing down where I, I carve this side a few blocks in, and then the other side a few blocks in, and then I would place my crafting table, a chest, and a bed, and this is how I'd start every single world. And I would just go get things and come back here until I'm ready to go mining for some iron. But I do need food pretty badly. I'm hoping to keep my deaths to an absolute minimal. Uh, any sheep out here? I also don't want to lose that little spot. I like that spot. Uh, no sheep. Where? Would it? Okay, a fox. Hmm. Fish. I would also do fishing. If I saw a river, that's... That's a good source of food. Okay, I'm going to lose my little... Okay, it's kind of near that. Wow. I wonder if sheep spawn less in a, a snowy forest. I, I would think they would be the same. <gasps> Is that a sheep? No. Oh, I can't run anymore. <gasps> wow. Look at that mountain. Is that a pig? Did I just see a pig over there? I don't, 
think so. This is cool. But there's still no animals. I definitely am going to lose that little hut I just found. Well, I, I'm going to need to find a biome that has... Oh, what's that? Sand. Okay, sand w might be good for f some food because there's usually water near sand and there's usually fish in the water. Oh, was that a pumpkin? No. Okay, I've got sand. No fish. Oh. Some lights down there of some sort. I, I can't really jump far. Okay, here's a river. Whoa. Oh. I don't think I'm supposed to pass this fence. Which is unfortunate. The... The fenced-in area is a, a smaller than I anticipated. Oh, there's a bridge up there of some sort. I saw something moving here. Hmm. If I was thinking I could have grabbed some mushrooms. Is that another fox? Man, what is with all the foxes? I'm back at spawn. <laughs> I'm back at spawn. I have no food still. Oh, I had a couple berries. I can eat these berries. I do find it odd that there's zero animals anywhere. Ex except foxes. Oh, I can run now. What is that? Whoa, a gray wolf. That is cool. Oh, Scotty's Island and River. <laughs> All right, I won't touch it. Uh, I, I would consider grabbing some of these mushrooms as... What? Uh, you know, foraging. Hey, a lily pad. All right, let's see. If we can find some fish, that would be good. Magma blocks. One thing I'm going to really keep my eyes out for early stage of the game is uh, magma blocks 100% I'm going to need for my very first farm. Oh, another portal. Why? Oh, there's some fish. Okay. Okay, yes. Oh, lots of fish. Yes. Come here, fishies. <laughs> it's almost nighttime. This is a very primitive way to do fishing. Could you imagine being able to swim through the water <laughs> and axe down some fish? Oh, man. Oh, there's a bed here. I'm going to use it. Look at they have oh, an armadillo. What? Oh, he dropped a an armadillo. Sh uh, whatever you call that. What was it sign? Sask. I don't see any magma blocks. No, I don't know if we're supposed to go out this ocean. I'm not going to go to the nether for fear. A diamond block already? I will kill this spider because, hey, that's cool. Uh, I need a fishing rod. Oh, boy. Okay, I better cook up my fish, actually. Wait. Is there a phantom? Did 
Thanks, Sask. <laughs> I'm going to sleep on your bench. No. Ah! Okay, that guy's going to die to the sun. Is that another spider right here? Look at these zombies. There's, there's more zombies down there. I guess I could eat their rotten flesh. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. He had camouflage on. Look at this. <laughs> All that camouflage, I couldn't see him. <laughs> Whoa, what is this? Okay, I, I really don't want to die. A cow. Oh, good animals. I can get a bed. There's a, there's a lot of stuff going on here. That guy's still chasing me. Okay, man. Just give it a break. Is that a pumpkin? Is that something orange? Or is it another fox? If it's a fox, like, what is with all the foxes? They're literally everywhere. What the fox say? Hey, what's this? Oh, more fence. Interesting. All right, I'm I'm pretty much going <laughs> exact exact same way I was going before. Uh, which means I'm I'll, I'll make it to my little house. Oh. My my goal for the first day is usually just kill as many animals as I can. And get lots of food for going caving. Uh, I need enough wool for a bed. Not even close. And enough food to go caving. So far, that has not been successful. A cow. No. No. Is there more? What I really need is sheep. A magma block. I think I should go get it. Magma, magma blocks are going to be really important. Oh, crap. No! No! Is he following me? I don't want to find out. I, I, I need to just go eat some food and get away from this areas of danger. <sighs> All right. Another dog. Man, that's crazy. I'm nervous. I feel like they're going to sneak up behind me and just bite me. All right. What do I have the most of? Steak. Uh, I think planks are the best source of fuel I believe I don't really know okay oh I got some bones one last chance yes we got a doggo we got a doggo <laughs> sit down you wait there Leader of the pack. Oh, yeah. I'll have to get some more wood if I can't get any more. I, th I think maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I can, can go out a thousand blocks. I don't know. I think that fence was there for a reason. I should just read. Okay, we got... I only have one salmon. I thought I got more salmon than that. Anyway, we're going to cook up... Cook up... Uh, some more of our food. 
I might as well chop down some wood while I'm waiting. I normally like to use campfires uh, because they're free. They really don't cost any fuel, and I get really annoyed at things that aren't renewable, such as uh, fuel for furnaces, which you know, renewable fuels for furnaces is possible, but you need pretty pretty hefty machines to get it done. I, I don't want to cook any more food. I just, <laughs> I just want to get going here. I think I think I might walk a different direction. Let's go, puppy. Come on. I don't know if I'm going in, in another big circle again. I, I can't really tell. Is it a sheep? Another dog. Ooh. <laughs> you been a bad boy. Is there a sheep over here? I thought it saw something move. There's a lot of dogs in this world. Where'd my dog go? I take, I take, I think, I think he'll just innately follow me wherever I go. Okay. Literally no animals. It's not a huge hindrance to starting the game. It's just <laughs> slightly annoying. Cool. That is something I do need. We're going to need coal for our caving experiences to get our iron. What do I want to do for this server? Uh, I don't even know yet. Um, I think I, I think for now I'm just I'm just gonna focus on because uh, I I wanted to do survival playthroughs, and you know I feel like this is a better place to do that. So I think that's gonna be my main intent. Um, but you know. At a certain point, it's not really a survival playthrough when, when you have everything and, and you don't need any more survival farms. Uh, then I'll, I'll move on to probably building stuff or causing trouble. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever happens. Okay. Uh, have I been here before? It's possible. Which, you know, I think you can just essentially walk in circles and you'll be rolling the dice on getting animals and maybe animals don't oh maybe stuff like these snow layers stop them from spawning so they have a a, a lot lower spawning possibility here that would make that would kind of make sense to me and if that is the case i can always eat rotten flesh uh and we can go underground but uh, one thing that does help for early game survival is fishing. Okay, before I really go down here, I want some torches. <sighs> it's dark. I gotta get used to this. Uh, instead of the stick. Okay, just calm down. We're going to be out of the water soon. Looks like this is the end of this cave anyway. Ooh. Imagine that. Okay. This is getting interesting. Oh, we've got some stagnolites. I th some more coal. I thought I saw some magma. But maybe I'm wrong. I will need a magma block to really explore this. I, I gotta get this dog out of the water. Here, you know what? I'm just gonna block it off. A chicken. Oh, that's nice to hear. Okay, let me see. What? 
I don't know if there's going to be magma blocks just floating in here. Okay, we've got some iron. That'll be our first iron, but I can't comfortably explore this. Ouch. Ouch, ouch. Okay. We're going to have to come back to this. We will have to come back to this. I kind of want to kill that chicken. Is it this way? Chicken. Oh, there you are. Chickens are, are one of the only renewable animals that you can... Oh, I don't have a bed. Copper. I don't want to die. That's a thing here. I don't want to die my first, you know, few minutes on the server. We're going to we're going to pull in here, cook some food, eat some food. I want to get my puppy in here. Is he in here? Okay, good. Close that up, uh, and we'll get to work. So our first night, uh, technically this isn't the first night of our survival, but it kind of feels like it to me. So I'm going to treat this like our first night in the survival world. Um, oh. Oh. I guess that makes it simple. Uh, I guess we can go back out there. <laughs> forget surviving your first night. Just forget that noise. All right, I think we got to get out of this biome, unfortunately. As cool as it is, it's holding us back. It's not a good... The snow um, pine forest is not a good starter place. Okay, I think I see ice up ahead, which doesn't necessarily help us. Where's that spider? Oh. I need you, spider. Come down here, spider. He's stuck up in a tree. Yeah, we're we're on the hunt here, doggo. Excuse me. Oh boy. Snow. I I I definitely have a newfound. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Where'd it go? What? <laughs> I definitely have a newfound uh, appreciation for snow layers um, ever since the snow skipper. It, oh, there you are. Yes, we have enough for a fishing rod. Okay, that means that we can technically go into the caves and sustain ourselves solely using a fishing rod um, and one block of water. And then we can get fish infinite food that way. Okay, I think I might... Uh, oh, I thought that was a creeper. Let's see. I just I just want to find a good biome to be able to start gathering animals. It's, it's not overly necessary now that I can get fish. Oh, uh, I'm... Hello. Hello there. I'm past a thousand blocks. I'm pretty sure they don't want us a thousand blocks out. Um, it's difficult though when we have what we have to work with. This mountain is cool. That's a tall tree. I mean, for a, a little guy like that. Cowsers. I think the axe is one of my favorite early game tools just because it has so much utility. It's a great weapon, and it's good for 
gathering and you use it it's, it's like one of the most used tools for in, in the early stage of the game so definitely getting an iron axe would be nice obviously not not essential but okay here we go we're getting a biome change i feel like we might have a lush cave under us given that this has weeds on it or uh vines oh oh okay oh and it's a big cave i'm just gonna take one quick look up here if there's anything else that might help me a bed oh i got enough wool okay we're good. We're going to go down the caves. I think I'm going to leave Doggo here. Uh, you go down there, Doggo. Stay safe. Sleep well. Um, how do I get down here without dying? Ooh, stag delights. Those are super handy for you know, killing players, but also for um, farms. We're going to use these. Oh, oh no. I'm not ready to fight anyone. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, uh, shoot. I guess I should expect a fight when I'm ent entering the caves. Um, Stag lights are great for some farms. Um, and they're actually a gravity block, so you... What was I just saying? I don't even know. Imagine that fell and killed me. Where, where'd it go? It disappeared. Oh, <laughs> it just breaks now. What is even happening? Okay. I'm a little bit nervous to go down here just because of... It's a big dark cave and I have nothing okay I'm gonna craft a bed hello oh there's so much lag am I gonna get booted I'm trying to open my inventory right now Still can't open my inventory. Oh, okay, crafting table. I need a bed and I'm gonna put it here. If we die, we'll be nearby. Okay, and hopefully this cave, let's get some new tools because they're almost destroyed. What do I need more sticks? Yeah, uh, I'm actually going to just throw them away. Because knowing me, they'll break in the most inopportune time. Now, I think I'm going to bring my bed with me for now. And if things get dicey, hopefully I can drop it down quick enough. Uh, otherwise, I'm just going to find a little spot down here where I can start. Clearing some of the resources. Oh, these torches didn't didn't take... Clearing some of the resources from this cave. Um, I have some coal. Really, iron is, is, is the big thing I need right now. Oh, this, this section goes down quite a bit. I do not I do not want to get in a lot of fights here. Uh, I am pretty pretty weak. Okay, got some copper, which is essentially essentially useless to me I like these uh, stag light blocks
typing on this stupid screen. All right, I kind of don't, oh, okay, I got zombies down here. He can't get me. I just do not want to get rushed. I think I might put my bed down here soon. Ow. I think I hear more than one zombie. Okay. Look at that nice big cave down there. Okay. I, I like having water like this nearby. Um, because you're able to get down and up safely. Relatively safely. Alright, and like I said, classic little hut. I'm going to put my bed here. Uh, use this as sort of a base of operations for now until I can... I hear a lot of bad guys. Until I can uh, get things a little more established. Oh, I really didn't want that. Absolutely did not want that. I need a door. So that I can... Keep these bad guys out if I want. Okay, and we're going to get a chest. I think one chest is fine for now. And we will drop some stuff off. And we'll be able to uh, go out in this cave a little more freely. Wait. <laughs> I could just, I could just fall there. A little more freely given that we're not going to have absolutely everything on us. Although we don't really have, you know, a whole, a whole bunch that's really important. But it's still nice to, uh, to not have those setbacks. And torches is going to be our most uh, valuable commodity right now. Commodity thing because exploring this cave is going to require a lot of torches. Okay, I think I'm just going to kill this guy. What? What? What just happened? No. <gasps> I don't understand. That's what I mean. Someone came right behind me and just smashed me. Get out of here. Oh, man. Okay, we're at deep slate, lo deep slate level. You know, I think strip mining is just better. It's just safer. <laughs> I cannot believe that. Almost got me. Wait, are they back? So, I, I don't know. Is it two of them or is it one of them? I feel like I got hit from behind there. Alright, I'm assuming he's gone. Alright, should we keep going down? Let's go. I feel like we're going to find a mine shaft. Seeing a mine shaft with this uh, type of cave seems common to me. Alright. This lava is... Oh boy. This lava is giving us a little bit of natural light, which actually deters mobs from spawning there. I wish I had a bucket. That lava is one of the most useful things in dealing with mobs. Uh, okay. Ooh, that doesn't look safe. <laughs> okay, we've got some obsidian here and lava. As soon as we get some iron, we'll be able to get a nether portal. Although we don't really... Oh, wow. Oh, those diamonds. I see a creeper down there and some diamonds. Oh! Uh. <laughs> Um, diamonds would be absolutely getting ahead of ourselves, though, because I don't even have a piece of iron. Or it could be gold, I don't know. Oh, 
Oh, maybe it is iron. I'll have to just get closer. So I want this creeper to explode without killing me. It's iron. Perfect. Or I just kill him. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is kind of a dangerous area. It's so open. I'm gonna say how to mesh. I just I need this. Oh, I've, yeah, and I've got a cave behind me. It looks like to some degree. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> I'm really rolling the dice here. Okay. It's it's kind of strange playing this game with absolutely no armor cuz I normally am not this cautious. <gasps> Redstone can I gather redstone with a uh, stone pickaxe? I don't think so. No. I am actually kind of hoping for a shallow cave just so that I can secure it. Confidently, and uh, I need iron to gather that. Okay, and I have how much iron did I get? Two pieces. Normally, the first things I build with um, iron is number one is a shield, number two is a pickaxe, number three, oh, yes, diamonds. My first diamond. Oopsie. Uh, number three is uh, a bucket. Okay, let's see how many diamonds we got. The diamonds really in the early stages here will be used for number one, uh, a pickaxe so that we can get an enchantment table. Oh, we, it's a good amount here, at least three. Four. Looks like we got four diamonds. Mind you, that no, there can't be more above them. Not right here, anyway. I, I doubt there'll be more above them. No. Okay, so we need a little bit more iron to be able to grab those diamonds. Uh, let's just see here. If I look up there, it could be on the walls and such. I could expose it by dropping some of the sand. I don't see any iron in here. Well, we can always dig for it. Oh, wow. If I break this... Okay, no sand will fall on me. Yeah, <laughs> that was right. Nice. Redstone and diamonds. A little bit of iron. And some gold in the corner there. Okay, let's just go up here and see if we can spot a few more pieces of iron. And yeah, make sure there's no bad guys. On the walls and stuff. So ah! Hmm. Well, we may just have to mine for it. Behind this waterfall, maybe. Not seeing any. No. Oh, you know 
what? It could have been a skeleton that knocked me down. Oh, it's copper. Come on, iron. I don't know. Is this cave bigger than I expected up this way? Because I've, I've definitely found the bottom of it down there. Oh, not what I want to hear right now. More, oh, there's some iron. Okay, we got one more piece of iron, which will give us a iron pickaxe. And then we can collect those diamonds. Although, the diamonds aren't really, you know, like a, a super necessary thing right here. More iron is what's absolutely necessary. I gotta be careful. I don't have a lot of food to deal with a lot of mobs. Oh, there he is. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm just going to climb a, oh, oh, a skeleton would be not nice right now. Is that coal? Copper. Okay, well, I did find one more piece of iron. I do not, I really do not want to deal with a skeleton right now. Oh, there's my house way up here. Why do I feel like I'm going to find a skeleton here? He's going to shoot me in the feet. Two torches. I am I am really working on the bare minimum here. Yes, and it pays off. This little rabbit hole paid off. We got very, very useful iron. Look at all this iron. Very good. Uh, we might even be able to get some armor going, which would help us do this exploring. But for the most part, uh, I'm going to start cooking this right now. For the most part, uh, what we really need is uh, better tools. Okay, what? Oh, I left all my fuel. Oh, there it is. Why do I hear a skeleton? First things first, a shield. A shield is like uh, so necessary, especially dealing with mobs like skeletons. So a shield is normally my f my very first go-to with my very first piece of iron. There it is. First piece of iron crafted into a shield. The shield will let us be able to deal with mobs in a lot more tactical way than just brute force head-to-head -head combat. I'm kind of curious what's going on down there, but uh, I don't want to... I want to just... Grab all my stuff, do what I gotta do here, and then and then go down there and explore what's going on. I think a pickaxe is the right move. We can get those diamonds. You know what? No, no, no. I'm doing exactly what I said I shouldn't do. I hear a zombie villager. I don't know how loud my in-game in 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 sounds are. Uh, I tried to keep them a little bit lower. Just because on mobile, it's, it's impossible to adjust them mid-game. Oh, stagnolite. Okay, four more pieces of iron. Um, I think a bucket. Should definitely do a bucket. Yeah, and even grab some of that lava, and that will help us defend ourselves. Now, we have four more pieces of iron, an axe or a sword, not a bad idea. Let's go with a sword. 
deal with these guys in a more effective way. Oh, and... Oh, no. Um, let's craft our fishing rod. Yes. We're in good shape. I should have crafted another pickaxe, but... Uh, Coal, that's something I desperately need now. I hear multiple mobs down here. I hear skeleton. It's so dark. There's a little bit of light. Okay, we got more iron. Perfect. I'm very weary because I, I know I'm walking into... Oh, and lapis... I know I'm walking into uh, uh, chunks that have been able to spawn mobs um, that are optimized for spawning mobs. When they're you load them for a certain distance, at a certain distance away from you, you're likely to have mobs spawning in those chunks. And if you run out of those chunks and then come back in them real quick, often you'll find that uh, those mobs despawned and you have a lot less chance of having a ton of them in there. I, I'm not 100% sure on that. I could be wrong. But that was my understanding, too. How people sometimes can get through these caves really fast. But uh, not, not me. I'm not fast. <laughs> okay. Torches. I could really use some torches. But at least we have this, whatever you call that, it's like cave fungus that glows. Oh, I cannot see. You know what? I'm going to cheat and turn the light off. Yeah. I think I hear lava. <gasps> oh, oh, oh my gosh. That'll wake you up in the morning. I can't tell if this is copper or iron. I think it's copper. I should leave this place. I think that creeper's just a prelude of what's coming. <gasps> Redstone. I'm being lured. Problem is, I cannot see. I don't want anyone to come up behind me here. Just a baby zombie. More lapis? Nice. Oh. The redstone is the... Uh, is the light here? <gasps> yes! The light led us to some more diamonds. Okay, so that brings us up to six diamonds we've located. Uh, of course, we've only collected these first two. Um, a little bit of lapis. And I'm going to get a little bit of lava. Oh, is that? No. All right, let's get out of here. Okay. Uh, oh, our nice music's gone. I like that menu music. Uh, is that everything here? I think we've got pretty well everything we want to get here. Let's go back and get those other three. I thought I heard a slime. Go get those other three diamonds, four diamonds that I saw. Um, I gotta keep my eyes open though, because this is all spawnable areas. And I also want to keep my eyes open for some iron. I can hardly see anything. Oh, you know what? Wait. All right, I don't see any iron. Let's move on. 
Okay, this was a nice, uh, a nice little detour that we took, gaining a good number of iron. We got a bucket and a shield, so, and and some extra diamonds. So I, I like that we we came down here, exploring these little. Uh, it wasn't even a full cave, just a little hole in the ground, basically. Okay. Copper. Now, do I want to go home, home, to my chest and bed? Oh. Oh, this guy's still here. He's, he, he's gonna bother me a few more times, I bet. I'm just gonna deal with him. Where is he? Alright, he's gone. He's gone. Okay. Let's go back. Oh, is that coal? No. Let's go back and cook. Uh, no, let's go get those diamonds. Because, honestly, if there's not much more iron down here, there's not much more purpose for us being down here. We could make a nether portal. I don't think it really helps us. I wonder if it hurts you to land on a waterlogged stag delight. I wonder if that negates the... Uh, you know how that water blocks your fall damage? That would be a funny trap. Oh, and we'll grab that gold while we're here too. Alright. Six diamonds. Some lapis. We are ready to start enchanting, which is pretty awesome. Um, now, one of my main goals here is, of course, the same way I play every survival game is a zombie spawner. I'm uh, first aiming my gear at getting good gear, decently good gear, you know, iron is fine, uh, some diamond is okay, but I normally get all of my diamond gear once I have my villagers, um, which <laughs> I'm going to be building around a zombie spawner, because it's, uh, it's the best way to do it. You get way better discounts, uh, easier. And uh, then once you're ready and you have a lot of other resources, you can start upgrading those same villagers to be even more discounted by curing them. And there, I have an awesome system for curing these villagers using the zombie spawner to be able to harness those zombies as... Uh, should, I, should I get some obsidian on here? I think I should. You know what? I'm going to. Because I'm going to want it to... Uh, I should just block that off before I get hurt. I'm going to want this obsidian for the uh, enchanting table. Alright. Diamond pickaxe. Boom. Um, I kind of want... I kind of want this to be cleared off here. I keep almost going in that lava. Uh, except for one. Okay, I need one, and I need it to be right here. Oh, that's the wrong pickaxe. Because there's likely lava underneath this block. And there was. So I need this to... Oh, i got to block this again. Break it, and then this time we'll be good. There we go. So I just want this water to be at my feet so that... When I break these blocks, oh, except I'm, I'm technically I'm now I have to mine this under the water. It works better with water only at your feet, not above your head. Which oh, I have to get out of this water. What? Are you serious right now? Do not stand on obsidian on top of obsidian when you're mining it. Uh, you can fall right through, and then that water will close you in. <laughs> okay, right there. That looks good. Yeah, I'm gonna mine this. I don't need much for a, uh, whatchamacallit, an enchanting table. Um, I th oh, I actually didn't want to do that. I think I only need four, so. But um, having a nether portal is always good, too. The nether might be a little dangerous for my gear right now, but eh, whatever. We'll go for it. Do what we got to do. Okay, clear this one. And then I'm going to move to clear that other side. 
This is my favorite way to mine obsidian that you find like this in a lava pool because, uh, except I should do this. You're, you're always safe standing in the water and it kind of just pushes you to the next piece that you need. This is how I'll clear like an entire lava lake. I'll just get water to push me all the way along and then clear it out as I go. And it, it, I'm sure there's other ways to do this, but, and I'm sure other people do it like this. Uh, collecting obsidian now while I'm this low in the world is handy because soon I'm going to be uh, up at the surface and lava is pretty scarce up there. You can sometimes find a good lava lake in like a forest or in a plain, but it's it's honestly not that common. So w one thing I like to do is oh, while I'm there looking at the resource, I should take it. I think that is the best way to do this. Okay, now that I did that, I don't really want to mine the rest of that out all that much, but we can just go ahead and do this now. Every block underneath here. Okay, good. Good. Now, you don't want to mine these because those are going to turn to... Um, and don't mine straight down. Don't stand on the block and mine straight down. You'll end up falling underneath into the lava, and then the water will turn the piece of lava that's at your head into into uh, what you might call obsidian. But your feet will be burning in the lava, so you'll you'll die. It's it's a death trap. Oh, this one will be okay. There's no lava underneath it. I know that for sure because both sides have been filled in with water. But. Still, I'm going to stand up here just for fun. Okay. Oh, that freaked me out. How much obsidian do we have? 15. That's enough for a portal and an enchanting table. I think we're good. I don't need any other obsidian for any other reason. Right now... Um, and we got all those diamonds, we got all that lapis, all that redstone, let's go. I think we're going to pack up our nice little house here and move on. Although I think I saw a whole other direction for this cave. But I need coal right now. Coal is going to be the next uh, resource I need the most of. Just so that I can keep exploring, try and get at least full iron armor. And uh, and then I can work on enchanting it after that. I usually don't worry too much about enchanting until I have a good XP source. Ooh, whatever. Alright. What is a keeper? Let's put back this, this... And this, uh, this is a keeper, I need that. Might as well take that. And that's actually handy if we leave the spruce biome. All right, everything else fits decently. I don't see a, a huge use need for the rest of that. Plus, I gotta pick up my bed. And I don't really need this crafting table, but and you know what? I kind of need this chest, but I don't want to deal with that stuff in it. Let's forget it. Just forget it. Am I going the right way? How? How? I, I just... I feel like that water does, does not lead me out of here. Okay, I see daylight. I need some food. I think I'm going to build a nice little house on the uh, ocean or river and start uh, fishing. And once I have a good stack of fish, I'll also have good XP. Um, 
might even be able to do some enchanting and we might ooh, we might be able to pull some books out of the ocean all right well we've got a whole nother side to this massive cave i see some iron here i'm gonna grab i don't have torches which is really what uh, is keeping me from going in here right now and food i don't have a good food source but a quick iron grab, I'll definitely do. Not so. All right. Right, the snowy biome. Oh, and our dog is, is tied up up front. Wherever that was. Why does that look like an anvil? It's a treetop. Birch trees. I actually like to see some birch trees. Change of biome. There's a piggy there. I think I'm going to kill it. Meat is a... Oh, a cherry biome. Inventory's full already. I don't really want to get rid of that. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Nice. The only thing missing here is uh, animals. There should be a lot of animals in these fields. Is that a beehive? That's another pig. I think I'm going to kill it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pork chops. Hmm, we could do some fishing in this river. Let me go get that other pig and then we'll let, maybe have a look at that down there. I gotta start cooking too. Ooh, I like these flowers. I'm gonna dye my bed this color. I wonder if I can just do that. Can you just. Oh, uh, if I can do it in my inventory right now. Uh, okay, I need. Yes. Hmm. I do. Oh, here we go. Nice. Oh, hi, piggy. Yes, yes. This is a nice little valley, and I love that cherry biome there. Cow. Ooh, a wandering trader. Uh, really, we, we're only going to be able to take the leads from him, but it's always interesting to see what he's got. Was that blue ice? Oh, man. Is that a sponge? No, it's coral. Brown dye, that's actually decent, although I think we've already found a... Uh... Okay, yoink. And we're going to have to drop something. Yeah. Bingo. Two leads. Nice. Uh, well, we got some sheep over there. Likely could be a beehive in this forest. Ooh, another oinker. Another oinker. Look at that sheep bouncing. All right, how do we get down here though? Dying. Oh, I thought that was magma, but seeing fish in this river is a good sign. We might find some magma down there yet. Okay, we're going to make this little spot here our 
some coal down there. There's actually a good number of coal around here. This is going to be our home entrance. Where we're going to do a lot of fishing, I think. And then after fishing is successful, we will take that food down into the caves and be gathering up a lot more iron, uh, diamonds, and redstone, of course, and lapis we will need. Um, and, of course, coal. That will be our main focus is on that. Okay, uh, I've only heard it so many times. I'm yawning. I'm pretty tired. It's late at night. I was uh, <laughs> busy with work. Work is so busy right now, but I also want to... Uh, I just, I have, uh, I have these uh, videos, and I just wanted to play. I wanted to play just survival, you know, nothing, not creating any technology, not testing, not, you know, working things out. I'm just, just playing. So I thought I should, I should be taking some time to do that kind of stuff. Okay. Let's get a crafting table, which I thought we had two, but now we're down to zero somehow. But we can drop this. That will help alleviate our load. Okay, I don't know how I don't. I don't know where that sheep is, but I want to kill it. <laughs> I wish there was a way you could turn music on all the time. All right, here is our fresh little stutter base. I normally go about this by dumping everything in here and then reorganizing my inventory afterwards. First things always first, I put the axe, or the sword, and then the axe. Uh, pickaxe. Uh, this time we have two pickaxes, so that's fine. Okay, we're also going to cook this using this. All right. I'm going to get my fishing rod. Let's do a little fishing. Oh, hi, friend. Thank you. I needed that. Well, anyway, I think I'm going to end episode here. With uh, We've kind of established a small living quarter. And I'm going to be just farming out these uh, fish. I don't think I'm going to do anything off camera. I have a feeling that uh, I'm going to do this whole series uh, on camera, essentially unedited. And uh, I hope I hope it turns out good. Um, anyway, thanks guys for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode or in the next video of if we get some new technology finished, because I know we have a few things that we've all been working on. Um, have a good day, and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.